G'day everyone, it's Matt and Liz here, and we've just been having a chat at our kitchen table about a, a really interesting topic that seems to be quite topical at the moment, and that's this idea of low wages growth. It's happening worldwide, mm. but it's here in Australia as well. And we just read an article on um, ABC News about it, and also looking at some research coming out of the Australian Treasury Department, and there's a few studies around this, and basically, even here in Australia, we've had no real wages growth for or the very last low. or very low for the last ten years, and this is obviously a concern. Mm. Because what that means is, so what is wages growth? You might have heard that in the news. Um, basically, it means that what the amount that you're paid now in 2019 is not that much more than you would have been paid ten years ago for the same job. And what's interesting is that. Um, the Treasury Department saying that's regardless of how much, like whether you're a high income owner, low income mm, owner, man, everyone. woman, uh, white collar, blue collar, it doesn't really matter. It's across all industries and everywhere that we've got this uh, money, not people not being able to get ahead because that basically means you can work really, really hard, but you can't get ahead. So your hours, I know we know a lot of our clients uh, start out with this, they're swapping time for money. So yeah. you can't possibly work harder now to get ahead. The working hard is not enough to cut it in this day and age. And it's interesting, um, we were, I've heard one of our favorite all-time investors or mentors yeah. or people that inspire us is Warren Buffett. He's been talking about this as well. He's been talking about it quite a bit as well about the growing divide between rich and poor in America, it's a real real issue. And he said, basically, you need to find a way to get leverage on your time. You mm -hmm. just can't do it. And that means investing in, in businesses or assets or, or real estate that give you that leverage on time. You need to be smart now. Again, working just working more hours is probably not going to cut it. And we all know that has other effects and it's, as well. Yeah, it's no fun if you're just working all the time. No. So we were thinking, okay, well, what is, what can people do? What's the solution here? Mm -hmm. And certainly getting educated is really, really important. Um, mm -hmm. Whether that is, you know, regardless of what it's about, like whether it's in, in business assets, website assets, real estate assets, um, share assets, what you need to be doing is figuring out how can you get some money into a marketplace that is growing and mm -hmm. take advantage of that growth. Um, well, as one of our mentors pointed out, he's a very high net worth mentor we have, um, very successful businessman, and he said, Matt, look back over the last 10 years, and he goes, think about all the, the successful business people that you guys know, and we obviously know a lot of very successful business people, and all of us have invested in either business, the share market, or real estate, mm. and we've all done extremely well out of it, and we've been able to get leverage on our, on our time and money, mm. um, because the share market's gone Gangbusters. Business so the question is, up. I guess, have so, you missed out? Like that's the problem. Well, what he was pointing out, yeah. he said, compare that to the people who haven't invested over the last ten years into those leveraged assets. You know, life's a lot tougher for those people, a lot scarier at the moment. So if you're listening, don't. You've got to start now. Tomorrow's yeah. a brand new day. The sun's yeah. coming up. Get into it. Don't just sit there trying to think I'm oh, going to get ahead by working harder. In your spare time, keep a job, but in your spare time, you need to be looking for ways for getting leverage. And so that's really important to note too. If you are on that pathway, keep going. It's really, really worth it. And oh. so I know when you first start out and you're trying to do the job and the yeah, investment strategy, it can yeah. be tough, but it is definitely worth it. That is what is going to create you freedom going forward, especially in this marketplace, which is a strange one. I don't it think we've ever seen um, before in history. So I think that is what our, our main thing that we came up with. You've got to do this. You've got to get yourself educated and, and find a way to invest in a market to grow some other assets as well as what you're doing as a paid job. So congratulations if you're doing that. Well done. Keep on it.